Hello friends! Welcome back for another week of Church at Home. Can you believe that it's the last weekend of July already? For the past eight weeks we have been talking about our good friend Jesus and how the things in the Bible are true because they were written down by real people who really knew Jesus. And we've been talking about how we can believe in Jesus. Friends, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. I hope you know that now. Oh, boys and girls, that is such a sweet truth that we get to learn in the Bible about how we can believe in our good friend Jesus. Well, today I have an amazing true Bible story for you. You are gonna love it. But before we do that, we are gonna sing our special song of the summer, I Spy. And we're gonna get started with that in just 10 seconds. Have a good time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That should do it. Oh, hey everyone, I'm Manny and I did the coolest thing today. I went to the eye doctor. Can you tell me what this picture is? It was easy to see the pictures at the top of the chart, but the teeny ones at the bottom, those were harder. It was so much fun that I made my own eye chart to practice. Let's put it on the wall. Now you can practice with me too. Here's the fun part. You have to cover up one eye. Take your hand like this and cover up one eye. 
and hold it right there. Ready? I spy with my little eye something that is green and brown and has branches. It's a tree! You spotted it! Now let's test your other eye. Take your other hand like this and cover up your other eye and hold it right there. Ready? I spy with my little eye something that is red and means love. A heart! You did it! You spotted something on the smallest row. Great work! Ho, ho! Hey, it's Ollie! Hello, Manny! Ho, ho! Testing your vision, are you? Hi, Ollie! Sure I am! I made my own eye chart to practice seeing! That's a fun thing to do! But I've got something even better to spy! It's true! So let's hear this story! Just follow me through! Ho, ho! Follow me through! Follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Well, hello everyone. I'm Aisha and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out today's special. Ta-da! I call them taste like heaven because each bite is the best thing ever. <laughs> Which is exactly the true story I want to tell you today. Get your I Spy eyes ready so you can help me tell the story. Awesome! If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have ever heard about a place called heaven. Great! That is what our story is about today. A very special place called heaven. One day, Jesus was with his friends, the disciples. He told them he would be going away soon. He said he was going to a special place called heaven to get everything ready for all of the people who believed in him. He said this place was very big and it had a lot of rooms. Later, after Jesus died and came back, he visited many of his friends. Jesus wanted his friends to see that he was alive with their very own eyes. Jesus talked with them and ate food with them so they would see he is alive and believe in him. Do you see Jesus alive? Help me look for him. I spy with my little eye. Jesus is alive! While Jesus was talking and eating with his friends, he told them to go and tell everyone that he is alive and he wants to be their friend forever. Then something amazing happened. After Jesus finished talking to his friends, he went straight up into the sky, through the clouds and into heaven. All of his friends saw him do it with their very own eyes. Can you see a sky with clouds? Look with me. I spy with my little eye. <gasps> A sky with clouds! <laughs> While Jesus' friends were standing there looking at the sky, two angels came and asked them, why are you looking at the sky? Jesus has gone to heaven, but he'll be back. Wow, we know heaven is real because Jesus told us it is real. And we can believe Jesus because he always tells the truth. And everyone who believes in Jesus will get to be his friend forever and live with him in heaven one day. Can you see why this is one of my favorite true stories from the Bible? And Jesus is getting a place in heaven ready for everyone who believes in him. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus has a special place with him in heaven for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Jesus wants to be our friend forever. He's even made a special place for us in heaven one day. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you just like got it, get it? Got it!
good. I love spying fun things on my eye chart, but the most amazing thing to spy on is this, my Bible. Because the Bible teaches us that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. He's even made a special place for us in heaven one day. See you guys next time. Bye. I spy with my little eye. Friends, don't you just love thinking about heaven? I do. When I think about heaven, I imagine what it's going to be like to be with Jesus all the time and to be able to see his face. And do you know what the best part about heaven is? All you have to do is love Jesus with your whole heart and then you'll get to be with him forever in heaven. It's so easy. Oh friends, I can't wait till that day, someday when the time is right, that we get to be in heaven together with Jesus. And I am so thankful that we have the Bible and the true words that the Bible tells us all about heaven. Because you know what? It also tells us that we can believe in Jesus. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's right, friends. Oh, and I hope you know that is true. This is our last week talking about this for a while, but I want you to tuck this important truth right here in your memory and deep down in your heart. Let's say it together. Who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. And friends, you always can, forever. Even when you're a grown up, even when you're an old, old lady or an old, old man, I want you to remember this important truth. I can believe in Jesus. That's right, my friends. Well, we are gonna finish off our day today with our memory verse and then with our song, He's Alive. Because of heaven, because of Jesus, we know that He is alive forever and ever. And that's how long we get to be with Him, forever because He is alive. Friends, I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next week when we start a brand new lesson. Make sure you come back because it's gonna be a fun one. I love you boys and girls, bye. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. God loves us and he gave his only son He is awesome, Jesus Nothing can stop him, he's too strong Yeah, we're singing Jesus is alive, he's alive, oh yeah Everybody celebrate Jesus is alive, he's alive, oh yeah He can do Oh,